we're here to protect the natural resources of the state of Indiana for its citizens. Our objective is to provide fishing opportunity to people as well as to protect the natural resources of the state of Indiana for its citizens. And that's all of its citizens, whether they're a sport angler or whether they're a mom and pop who just like to come to the pier and watch people fish or just view things. My name is Brian Breitert. I'm the Lake Michigan Fisheries Biologist and I'm with the Indiana Department of Natural Resources Division of Fish and Wildlife. Our research is important because it does provide answers to questions, but it also provides baseline data. The data that we collect, uh, depending on whether it's lake trout, perch, uh, or some of the stream surveys that we've got coming up, uh, or even smallmouth bass, is used to provide answers to questions regarding recruitment or recruitment failure, natural reproduction, you know, just kind of what the fishery's doing. Part of our um, project also involves a uh, lake-wide creel survey, which is interviewing anglers at uh, four different ports along Lake Michigan, as well as the tributaries. And that provides a major data set to uh, not only Indiana, but also to the entire Great Lakes. Being out on the lake today was a great day, um, calm seas and really good weather. Today we were out uh, netting um, predators. Primarily we were looking for Chinook salmon lake trout and burbot to assess the strength and the health of the predator component within Lake Michigan. The fish that we netted today, will we will take lengths, weights, we will look for sea lamprey wounding, we will also look for fin clips. Uh, all of the lake trout that are stocked in Lake Michigan have a fin clip, a particular fin clip, and that fin clip tells us basically what age that fish was stocked. Uh, when that fish was stocked and, and potentially where that fish was stocked. Right now, uh, this spring has been just exceptional. Uh, the Chinook salmon fishery in the spring of this year was, was fabulous. Uh, coho salmon generally is good in Indiana. We're very hopeful that our steelhead will do some staging this year before they run into the streams and that will provide another opportunity. Um, with the Chinooks, the Cohos, and the Steelhead that Indiana plants. Some of the native fish to Lake Michigan, the Yellow Perch, we've got walleyes, we've uh, northern pike, some of the panfish, smallmouth bass has done very well of late. The lake trout is the native salmonid along with uh, lake whitefish. My role is to do fisheries research on Lake Michigan and provide answers to questions and to provide data for uh, the Lake Michigan Technical Committee and Lake Michigan Committee, which are um, part, part of the entire Great Lakes or Lake Michigan um, watershed area. I enjoy dealing with the public and I enjoy getting out on the lake and dealing with the fish, the, the fish species that we see and just the interaction with uh, the crew that I have as well as um, just trying to tell people about what we do. And I think that's an important component of my job. And I think Indiana does have a good group, a good core group of people that are still here. And they're here for one reason, is because they believe in Indiana and Indiana resources.